Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by Opera GX. Opera GX is a gaming browser. Yes, you heard that right, a gaming browser. Now you may be wondering, why the do I need a gaming browser? And you can probably think of that yourself. Think about how much RAM and CPU your typical Chrome tab uses up. With Opera GX, you get access to GX Control. This allows you to throttle your CPU, network usage, and RAM. Think about it. You have some FPS lag, maybe your uh, browser's using a little bit too much of it. Boom, you got it. In the GX corner, you can also stay up to date with all the latest news on your favorite games and the newest releases. The browser comes right out of the box with dedicated Twitch, Instagram, Discord, and even WhatsApp integration. And this is a little random, but if you don't have a mechanical keyboard and you want some clicky noises, it's got that too. Ah, oh, sweet clicking goodness. Try Opera GX today. The link is in the download description and let me know what you think. I'm actually gonna go ahead and download it now. I'll let you know what I think in the comments down below. So those of you that are wondering, we are playing on PBE server. We're playing with the new items on Master Yi. I'm going to be showing you guys the best items that I think so far are on Master Yi. I pretty much already have a build determined here. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll wait until the buff spawns and we'll get into it. Oh, what the, what, the, what, what is this? Oh, nice flash, bro. Yeah, that, that, nice flash, man. <laughs> But you have to remember, Old Witson used to give, uh... Bet you wish you had Flash. Oh. I'm dead, by the way. I can't beat this guy. But I can't run either. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. After his Hell Blades wore off, he was useless. You know, I want to go bot lane. Let's go Zed. They don't have any wards. Come on, let's be honest. Okay, yeah, you can go that way. I'll go this way. Yep, that's mine, baby. Killing spree. Ooh, okay. Shh. I alphaed. I alphaed, bro. <laughs> you know, actually, Zed dying there was a tactical decision to take all of his lane farm. <laughs> Definitely. And we can actually get some plates out of this, too. Look at that. Look at all that farm we got, and we're going to get some plates. I'm sorry, Zed. I'm sorry, Zed. You, you're not going to like this, bro. Oh, look at that tower damage. Wow, we do 104 tower damage. That's another really important thing to think about, is that by running this new Kraken item as our first item, our Alpha Strike actually does damage now. And a little thing to note is that Crit Chance actually works on Alpha Strike right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Get baited, Talon. All right, so that gave us just enough for a Kraken Slayer, and that's all I wanted in my life, to be honest with you. So we're going to go ahead and... Whoo, CS. Oh. Zed, you look like you're having some trouble, and I would come help you if my Alpha Strike worked. Okay, you got to hit him again. One more time. That's okay. I finished my Kraken Slayer. That's all that matters. So here we are. We finished our Kraken Slayer. And let's talk a little bit about what this new Kraken Slayer means. So the Kraken Slayer gives us a lot of AD, some decent amount of attack speed, and some crit chance. And every third attack does 106 true damage. By the way, this does scale with your total AD as well. Now... The cool thing is, is that when we build Gunju's Rage Blade, the Kraken Slayer's 20% critical chance turns into magic damage. 40, 40 magic damage, because that's what Gunju's does. Um, and I mentioned this earlier, kind of without context, but Gunju's Rage Blade does not let you crit anymore. However, your Alpha Strike can still crit, and I believe that's probably a bug. Like, look how often Master Yi procs this new item, even without Gunju's Rage Blade. All right, let's go and start getting E. I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing E. I wanna get some of that on hit damage there. Mm. Oh, another cool thing is, is that this item legitimately does true damage to towers as well. I know, it's nuts. And Gunzu's does magic damage to towers. 
And again, I think that's probably bugged. They probably forgot to have that in. Seems like they forgot to do a lot of things. So this Omni Vamp here that you guys are seeing is actually from my jungle item. It is not from, I'm gonna smite so I can get the uh, jungle item removed. So you can see the jungle item's gone now when I smite. But yeah, I, at first I thought it was Ravenous Hunter healing me, but Ravenous Hunter has like almost no healing now. That's all from my jungle item. Oh, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> that was a crit, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I didn't need to crit because I was going to reset. I'm also summoning the Rift Herald before we get the plates. It's not a very smart move to do. But the reason why I'm doing it is because I actually deal true damage as well. So we're going to slice through this tower so fast. So watch this. 106. Watch this. Watch it. It's, it it's, it's so overpowered. It goes right through plates. So, but yeah, obviously, if they do fix that, uh, you're probably going to want to wait before summoning a Rift Herald because the lower the plates are, the higher the armor is. And Rift Herald does true damage. Can you pull him? No. Oh. Okay. Oh, I tried to alpha to him, but I, like, failed. Hmm. All right, so what is next? So next up is Gunju's Rage Blade. And the cool thing about Gunju's Rage Blade, guys, is that it does build out of um, actual items now. For some reason, it's not in Mastery's recommended because somebody at Riot doesn't actually play Mastery and made his recommended items. But um, normally we build the unhit knife, but it's bugged right now, so we can't. So we're just gonna have to go with the other items for now. And I could buy boots. I'm not gonna buy any boots though. Boots are for losers. I'm not a loser. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have uh mm. Double kill, baby. Huh? Huh? What? Here, you ready? True damage. Uh, yep. Just doing 107 damage through tower plates. Yep. No problem there. Wait, did he just ignite me? Oh, <laughs> I almost got him. What you say? All right, so now we have enough for. So now we have enough for Gunzu's Rage Blade. So we're gonna go ahead and complete that, and now we're gonna be a loser. We're gonna buy boots, and now we have to think a little bit about what are we gonna get as our next item. Wait, who got it? Set got it. Okay. So for our next item, we're going to want to purchase. So these are actually pretty good recommendations. I think Phantom Dancer is probably without a doubt the best second item. And the reason I feel that way is because Phantom Dancer gives us that 40 on him magic damage from the critical chance and it also gives our alpha more critical chance. And um, it gives us up to 80% attack speed and 14% movement speed. It's actually insane. Like it's, it's actually insane. Having 14% movement speed, just actually insane. I'm gonna come around and grab this guy nicely. Really? You gonna you gonna do me dirty like this, bro? I didn't wanna have to, but you're gonna use both summoners on me here. Ooh, dude, he did 352 damage. Ouch. Alright. So, I want to go kill some players and show you guys what the power of this uh, build is, huh? Also, guys, it's important to note, even though it says per 20% crit, even with the 15% crit, you can see on Gunzu's that I'm getting 110 magic damage. Once I finish the crit, I'll have 120. So, it does work. Ooh, that knock-up. Did me dirty there. I, th I thought for sure I'd be able to fight them there. What you say? Oh. Okay, so check this out. Here's Gunju's Rage Blade plus a new item. So we're literally, we're doing 115 true damage every other swing. And this is without my E. If I turn on my E, it's even crazier. Because we're applying it. And Assy doesn't work on Airborne. Wait, did they not change it?
Bro, my alpha not resetting makes it so hard to multi-kill. <clears throat> yes, I died because my alpha's bugged, okay? It's not because I'm bad, guys. You can't really multi-kill when your alpha strike doesn't reset like that. All right, so check out the true damage on towers. And that, look, 75 magic damage, 120 true damage. Oh my god, it's just so much. Oh, we had the Munster Hunter debuff. Yeah, which is back. I was told that it wouldn't be here, but it is definitely back. All right, so we're going to go hit this tower. Ooh, look at that heal. Okay, check this out. It's inhibitors too. <laughs> Look how much damage we do compared to what we used to do. It's insane. It's actually insane. Haha, <laughs> psych. Couldn't kill me, bro. I love the sound of some pew pew boys. Couldn't do drag as 2v4. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll do it then. <laughs> it's so much damage. So, dude, guys, we have 430 move speed. Do you guys see this? Look at our move speed. We have 430 move speed. We have tier 1 boots. This is a normal build. It's not like we're building for move speed. We just get it. Um, alpha. Dude, the new alpha change. Or sorry, the alpha bug is so annoying. <laughs> I could have killed them all if I had alpha not bugged out. Okay. So let's go ahead and buy tier two boots and see how much movement speed we get. So with tier two boots, uh, we're gonna run with Berserker Greaves because I think most people probably like to grab those. And we got 425 plus about 20. We're probably looking at 445-ish movement speed or something like that, 440. Which is really insane, actually. It's really insane. So I think this new season's gonna be nuts for you, especially when alpha gets fixed, because you guys just saw me. I, I stumped pretty hard, and that was without the alpha fixed. But I think some things are gonna change. Like, I don't think we're gonna be doing true damage to towers, and <laughs> I don't think Guntu's on hit magic damage is gonna work. And I also think that Guntu's will probably make it so abilities also can't crit. That's what I think is gonna happen. But Hopefully I'm wrong because I would love to, you know, stomp on some noobs next season. Do we have So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and like the preview of the next season and uh, have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and don't forget you can check out the full game on Cowsep Gaming.